Who... who are you? What is this? This can't be real. I am Jesus. And yes, John, this is real. I've come to speak with you. Jesus. The stories, the things people say. But I never believed in any of it. I've walked through hell. I've killed. I've destroyed. I've done unspeakable things. And now? Now you show up? What for? I am here because you are not beyond redemption, John. No matter what you've done, no matter how far you've fallen, you are loved. I came for the broken, the lost, and the suffering. I came for you. You don't know me. You don't know the things I've done. I was just trying to get by, but then they killed my dog, and it started everything. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop myself from going down this path. And now, now it's all blood. All I see is death. I've killed for vengeance. I've killed for anger. There's nothing left of me but this. I know more than you think, John. I know the pain of losing those you love. I know the temptation to seek vengeance, to let the weight of this world turn you bitter. But vengeance does not heal the heart. Only love and forgiveness can heal a soul as deep as yours. The scriptures say, Vengeance is mine, declares the Lord. I will repay. Romans 12, 19. Your heart, John, is not made for vengeance. It is made for healing. But how? How can I fix all this? How can I make up for the things I've done? I can't undo the lives I've taken. I can't take back the rage that consumed me. What kind of person would want to forgive someone like me? What kind of person would forgive me? John, forgiveness is not about earning it. It is a gift that you receive. It begins when you allow your heart to surrender. I know you've been through the darkest of places, but those places do not define who you are. You are not what you've done. I see your pain, your guilt, and I hear the cries of your soul. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. Rest? I don't know if I can rest. Every time I close my eyes, I see their faces. The ones I've killed. The ones I've hurt. It haunts me. It's not just the vengeance. It's the feeling that I've lost something more than just my peace. I've lost my soul. And I don't know if I can ever find it again. I understand, John. The road you've walked has been painful, but you do not have to walk it alone anymore. I came to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captives free. You are not beyond redemption, no matter how far you think you've fallen. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9 I don't even know where to begin. I've done things I can't take back. I've hurt people. Maybe I've hurt the wrong people, but I've hurt them just the same. I've lived for the fight, for the adrenaline, for the vengeance, but now, now, all I feel is emptiness. I don't know how to get out of this anymore. The fight you've been living has been within you, John, and now you must choose to lay down your sword. I did not come to condemn the world, but to save it, and that includes you. The path to healing begins with repentance, with letting go of the past and trusting that you are forgiven. You are not defined by your past actions. You are defined by the love I have for you and the man you choose to become moving forward. And what if I can't forgive myself? What if I can't walk away from this life? What if... What if this is who I am now? You are more than your past, John. You are more than the pain and mistakes you've carried. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 You have been given a chance to start anew. It's never too late to turn toward the light and leave behind the shadows. I want to believe that. 
I want to believe that there's still hope for me, that there's still something good left in me. There is, John. I have seen your heart. I have seen the pain, the rage, the regret, and I tell you now, there is hope. You are not beyond saving. Let my love fill you, let it transform you, and you will find the peace you seek. Walk in faith, not in the shadows of your past. I... I don't know if I can find the strength to change, but I'm willing to try. I need peace. I need forgiveness. I need to make things right. You have already begun, John. The journey starts with one step. Take it in faith, and you will find the rest you seek. I will be with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the way. Go in peace, John. You are forgiven, and you are loved. I've taken so much from this world, destroyed so much. If I leave all that behind, if I turn away from this path of violence, what do I do next? I've lost my purpose. I don't know where to go from here. What am I supposed to do with my life now? John, your purpose was never meant to be found in destruction or vengeance. Your purpose is in living with love, with compassion, and bringing healing to the world. You have the power to choose a new path, a path where you can bring life instead of death, hope instead of despair. Love? Compassion? I don't know how to do that. I've lived in a world where the only way to survive was to hurt others. I've hurt so many. How do I undo that? How do I change when the world around me still thrives on violence? The world may thrive on violence, John, but that is not the way of the kingdom of God. It's not about fighting against the darkness with more darkness, but overcoming it with light. You must first make peace within yourself, and then let that peace ripple out into the world around you. But, what if I can't change who I am? What if I'm too far gone? What if my past will always be a part of me? You are not defined by your past, John. You are defined by the choice you make today. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 the moment you surrender your life to me, you become a new creation. You will always have your past, but you will no longer be enslaved by it. So? You're telling me there's hope for me? Even after everything I've done? Yes, John. There is always hope. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 2911. What you've done does not disqualify you from the love and grace of God. In fact, it makes you the perfect person for my grace. And what about the things I've lost? The people I've hurt? Can I ever make that right? What can I do to fix all this? It's not about fixing everything on your own, John. That's the mistake so many make. But you can begin by seeking forgiveness, not just from me, but from those you've hurt. Seek reconciliation where possible, and more than anything, show others the mercy and love that I've shown you. Your mission now, John, is to be a messenger of peace, to be a light to others who walk in darkness. Start with yourself. Be at peace with who you are in me. Then, with every step you take, let that peace spread to those around you. I'll try. I don't know how, but I'll try. I can't promise it will be easy, but I'll try. That is all I ask, John. Just take it one step at a time and know that you do not walk alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the way. I... I don't think I'll ever be the same again. You are already different, John. And that difference will continue to grow day by day. Walk in the light, and the darkness will not overcome you.